I am in Argentina, 500 miles up the Paraná River, when I get my first proof that the river monster I've been searching for really does exist. But this isn't how I imagined I'd first see it. The guts have been taken out. No tail. The tail's been hacked off on this. And this is actually a fish that I didn't know existed until I came here. I've known for ages that, that you get stingrays in fresh water. But this particular species, we're talking about you know, a very short time that I've known this existed. And, and here is the evidence in the flesh. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This is a very, very creepy looking fish. You've got these fine denticles all over the body, like miniature teeth. Some of them are more enlarged. As we get to the tail, look at that. That's starting to get some really serious, sharp, lumpy denticles there. You know, and that's quite apart from the, the spine you've got on the back, which is just like this sort of dirty, serrated blade. So, I mean, this animal, it's not just the tail. This is just like a, a very lethally armed animal. This stingray is much bulkier than the one I caught in Thailand, which was flatter, more slight. It's a good 48-inch wingspan. The power of this massive body is transmitted to the tail. Just measuring the size of the tail as well as the size of the animal, uh, four inches across, so that's uh, quite a serious club-like weapon, never mind the big spike in the end. One tipped with tissue-destroying venom. Now to find out the true weight of the Chucho de Rio. It's registering just over 200 pounds there. And of course, it's missing the tail, and it's missing all the guts. And it's been out in the sun, dehydrating and bleeding. So it's something like 225 when this was alive. You know, I think we can be fairly safe about that. A genuine river monster. But if the stories are true, then there are even bigger fighters out there. That is what I'm after, to see for myself the weaponry and the behavior that makes this creature a killer. Oh. Ow! That's just dug its 